Oli, I'd imagine this is a game that always uh, you look forward to against your former club. Uh, yes, um, I look forward to it because they're, they're always an awesome challenge. Uh, they've got some of the best players in the league and um, off, the, off the back of next week, uh, it'll, be, uh, it'll be a big challenge to kind of come back from a, from a loss, show them what we've learned and then really kick it on for, for the uh, business end of the season. This is the end of a big four-week block, but it'd be great to end it with, with a win, as you say. Three out of four would be a, a nice return. Yeah, three out of four in the Prem is always, always good, especially when the loss comes uh, come away from home. Um, last performance we had at Sandy Park was a really big one and we're looking to uh, look to bounce back and do that again. When you reflect on last week though, the word probably is frustrating, isn't it? It's probably your own errors cost you the result that day. Yeah, last week turned into kind of a slugfest. They scored, we scored, they scored and um, we like to, like to take control of the 80 minutes. That's what we do. Um, we, we put the ball in our hands and we keep it. Um, and this, That's what we're going to try and turn around going to Bath. The coach has been talking about discipline as well. That was probably one thing that did you, let you down last week. Yeah, we just went through moments where we'd switch off, um, let the pressure we put on. We, we, we went through phases and times in the game where we really put on Quinns and we just let, let them in the game with, uh, with silly penalties, giving them um, a, lot of, a lot of time in our 22. Obviously, we're in March, but we've only just gone past the halfway mm. stage of the season. Mm. There's a lot of excitement over this second half, and the, the games are going to come thick and fast, and they're big games, aren't they? Yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to the sun showing its face finally. It's um, As a winger, when it's bleeding down and the pitch is um, sodden, it's, uh, it's, um, it's a tough, tough part of the season to get through. So from now, I'm hoping you know, we're going to get, we're going to get um, faster turfs, uh, more ball out wide and more exciting rugby. There's a real confidence amongst the boys, though. You're playing some good rugby this year. Yeah, um, we, yeah, awesome rugby this year. Um, we've got so many good players in, involved. Um, even even during the Six Nations, we've got some talent coming through, and um, you know I'm really excited about being involved and hopefully being involved um, in these huge games we've got coming up. One man who's helping to lead this side is Joe Simmons. Tell us a little bit how good he is and and, and how he's taken to this new role of not just being the on-field leader but the captain as well. Well, you saw it. Um, you saw it last week. He scored two tries. Um, he was one of the biggest, one of the biggest um, positives we took from that game. Um, it's going to be interesting watching him grow as a leader. He's got, he's got the skills, he's got the composure. You know, he, he's, he barely misses a kick. So, really looking forward to him take, uh, stepping up and taking the challenge. Bath, you know from past experience, will offer a hell of a challenge. They beat us in round two. Um, what are you expecting from the, this weekend? They'll be fighting themselves because they lost last week. Yeah, um, they'll be, they'll be going into this game with a similar mindset. So it will be, it will be a tough match. I reckon there'll be some huge contacts going throughout the game, but the first 20 minutes, I think it'll be a real tussy, tussle. Probably won't see a lot of scores, but um, see how um, both teams open up and um, see how they take out, take it um, 80 minutes. Is that what the Premiership's all about? As Northampton showed here a few weeks ago, half an hour, it was nip and tuck, wasn't it? And then you suddenly cut loose. Yeah, it's just about who can stick it in, who's got the, who's got the fight, who's got the fitness um, to go and make uh, positive actions. Uh, throughout the game, not just for 20 minutes. You've got to stick in it. It's uh, week in, week out stuff. And was that a kind of benchmark performance as well against the Saints, what you've got to try and hit each week now? Um, I wouldn't say it's that. We'd like to hit that every week. 55 points against um, the Premiership squad is um, very quite rare. Um, I think what we want to take from that is our defensive intensity um, and, a, uh, and uh, clinicality in um, in attack. So. Uh, there's, there's, there's a benchmark in some aspects of the game, but not score-wise.